Today we have a really exciting episode for you because we are going to have a descendant of Guy Fox coming to visit me here at Hopwood Hall. If you don't know who Guy Fox is, stick around and watch our video. But before we do that, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the bell to be alerted about our latest content. And if you wanna see more videos, join us on Patreon. And don't forget, we also now have a TikTok channel. Thanks. Okay, I'm just here waiting outside Hopwood Hall for Roz, one of Guy Fox's descendants. Hello, Roz. Hi. How are you? I'm very well, thank Good you, Good to sir. see you. And you. What do you have here? Well, this is a, a lamp similar to which Guy Fawkes would have used. I love it. At the time. You're already in the spirit. Yes, exactly. We're going to recreate his steps, what he did, right? Yeah, this is fantastic. True. So according to the history of Hopwood Hall, Guy Fawkes came to visit centuries ago, around 1604, before he attempted to blow up the Houses of Parliament. Guy Fawkes was apparently an expert in gunpowder, and that's why he was recruited to come in and be part of the gunpowder plot. And the reason for this is because the king was Protestant, Guy Fox and his team were Catholics. King James didn't like the Catholics, so he was killing Catholics and killing Catholic priests. So in retaliation, their plan was to blow up the Houses of Parliament. That never happened because Guy Fawkes was caught just as he was about to light the parchment paper that would ignite the gunpowder and blow up the entire House of Parliament. The next important piece of the story is that the Hopwoods were also Catholic, just like Guy Fawkes, and they were all forced to keep it secret as it was punishable by death. What do you think? He would have come in here and late at night? He would have arrived at night or during the day? Well, probably at night, I would think, so that he's, you know, under cover of darkness. Right. Um, it's not something that he'd probably want to advertise. So would the Hopwoods have known that Guy Fox was coming or would it have been a surprise visit? Oh no, they would definitely know he was coming. He wouldn't come unannounced. And do you think he would have I arrived think... with, with other people or would it have just been himself? He'd probably be on his own, I would think. Right. But he would be, he'd be known to the Hopwoods. Right. He wouldn't be a stranger to them because he wouldn't have been invited here. Yeah, so he came here to get basically to get money to finance the gunpowder gun plot. Yeah, in, in essence, yeah, in a nutshell. So apparently there's some poem that goes along with this that all children are taught in school that goes something like, remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason, and plot. I see no reason for the treason, something like that. I, I don't know, I think I have it on my phone somewhere. So it's really exciting to meet with Roz because not only is she an amazing local who's been involved in the restoration of the hall, but she's also a descendant of Guy Fox. And here I am as a descendant of the Hopwoods. We're walking together talking about this event that happened right here in this hall over 400 years ago. Isn't it weird to think that your ancestor and my ancestor would have probably stood in this same room. Yeah, very. And maybe gone to sit by the fire. Right. And then chat while he was here. Yeah. Of course, we don't have any chairs. Or chairs, a fire, or... <laughs> or heat. <laughs> we don't have anything. No, that they no, had. no. But it is interesting to think that here we are, hundreds of years yeah. later, walking in their same footsteps. Absolutely. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Absolutely. Ultimately, Edmund Hopwood declined Guy Fawkes' offer to back his plot and sent him off into the night without any funds. So what specifically happened that night that Guy Fawkes was there underneath the Houses of Parliament? Uh, well, ultimately he was caught and badly tortured, uh, so much so that he could hardly write his signature to the confession and ultimately been taken to be hung, drawn and quartered. Uh, but he was so weak that he went up the steps and they put the noose around his neck, but he collapsed. But I think there was so much damage done to his body that he was so weak and he couldn't stand. Uh, his neck broke straight away. Two years after Guy Fox was executed, the British began an annual tradition to celebrate the failure of the gunpowder plot. 
There's often a huge bonfire with fireworks, sparklers, sweets and treats, and the burning of an effigy that looks like Guy Fawkes himself. That's now come to be known as Bonfire Night or Guy Fawkes Day, I think it's called here in England. Remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder treason and plot. We see no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Guy Fawkes Guy, twas his intent to blow up king and parliament. Three score barrels were laid below to prove old England's overthrow. By God's mercy, he was catched with a darkened lantern and burning match. So holler boys, holler boys, let the bells ring. Holler boys, holler boys, God save the king. So I hope you feel like you know a little bit more about Guy Fawkes, and I hope maybe you Americans might even want to start celebrating it with us on November 5th, because why not have another reason to celebrate? So please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell to be alerted about our latest content. And if you want to see more of our videos, we're putting out multiple videos every week on Patreon. And also join us on our new TikTok channel. Thanks.